Hi everyone, Jody here from Cornwall Car Care for another detail. This is a 2017 Jaguar XJ. It's an absolute beast of a car. Um, I've just done a quote as well for a long wheelbase version of this. Wow, they are big. This one won't even fit on my ramp. It's too long to go on. So this one is gonna be done on the floor. Not ideal for me, but it is what it is. So it's quite swirly. When it came in for its inspection, yeah, we had it under the lights and we, we decided on a two-stage machine polish. This is also being finished off with Gion Infinite Coating. Wheel faces will be coating. The backs of them, there's a lot of overspray where the faces have been polished. So we're not gonna take the wheels off and do the backs. We are just gonna do the faces on this one. Uh, we'll also do a glass coating as well. Engine bay has been done. All the wet work has been done. Again, there's, it, it's normally pouring with rain here, but today and yesterday has been so hot. I have a certain window outside be, before the sun comes over, so I'm in the shade in the beginning. So I didn't film any because I had to get on before it come round in the sun. So it's quite swirly. We'll have a look around the vehicle. Um, yeah, there's been some areas of machine polishing. Um, I think the rear bumper's been painted as well because there's a lot of holograms on that one. But yeah, absolute beast. Let's have a look. Here you can see it really is quite swirly. If we go down to the rear bumper, you can see all the holograms. So I'm assuming that that's been painted. But yeah, definitely quite swirly. Uh, I did find a low spot right up in this corner. So I've got to be a little bit wary of that. The gloss black, that's gonna look so good when that's finished. Yeah, we'll have a look at the uh, B pillar in a minute. But yeah, this is obviously the hedge side down the Cornish hedges. So this side is a little bit worse than the driver's side. A few more holograms around there. Now uh, we have a long scratch. I don't know if you can see that just below the light. From there, runs all the way we have a mark in the paint. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. You can just see that mark in the paint there and somebody's had a go at polishing it. So uh, yeah, we'll try and tackle that. But yeah, overall, although it looks nice and especially looks nice and shiny outside, in here under the light, not so shiny. Yeah. Definitely gonna be a nice turnaround on this one. Uh, the bonnet, it is what it is. Quite a few stone chips, a few deep marks down the front, down here. But yeah, already having a play. Hope you can see that. So I can go in a little bit. Yeah, so just trying to find something that's gonna work. But yeah. Ooh, look at that lot. But it's like this all over. So yeah, it's big improvements to be made. Let's have a look at the eee! Yeah, we'll get those sorted.
up onto the rear quarter. Just not very pretty. There's a big scratch that runs from here down to there. Hopefully, I can get me light in the right place. You can see that one actually runs down onto the bumper. More holograms. Uh, on top of the tailgate. Yeah. So big, big improvements to be had. Some more holograms on the boot lid. Got another big scratch that runs up there. Lots of swirling on the tail lights. So that's kind of what we're dealing with on the paintwork side of it. Uh, it's Sunday today, I'm going to stay on for a bit. I want to do a bit more testing with pads and polishes and combinations. I uh, just want to dial that in before I go home tonight so I can make a fresh start on this tomorrow morning. But yeah, from what I've, my first test that I've done, looking pretty good. Oh, right, do some more testing. We'll come back in a bit. Right, so let's get the rest of the bonnet done. Front end, then make a start on the passenger side. And I know there's some deep ones down here. So, my aim, it is Monday. So my aim is to get all the cutting completed to, today. And then if I get a chance to start refinement, because again, this one has to be coated tomorrow. So, yeah, there's a lot of gloss black on this as well. If I, so, gloss black, uh, gloss, 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 gloss black, gloss black, gloss black, gloss black, gloss black, gloss black, gloss black. There's a lots of it on here. So that takes quite a bit of time in itself because you have to mask up the rest of it while you're doing the gloss black. Yeah, so it took me quite a while to do on the other side, but that side is now cut, the driver's side. Um, looks absolutely amazing so right get the other half of the bonnet done get the front bumper done and yeah my ramp the jacking points on this are too far apart even with my extensions up I can't lift it up in the air whoa whoa sorry about that right yeah so yeah can't get it up in the air, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, so this one's all being done on the floor. So lots of laying on the floor as well. <sighs> yeah. So I may even look at getting a bigger ramp and something that's wider as well. Uh, you put a Range Rover on here and it hangs well over the sides. So yeah, I'm gonna have a look at getting into a wider ramp and slightly longer if I can. Um, yeah, enough about that. Let's get back to polishing. Woo!
Tuesday and we're back on the Jag. I've done a couple of valets this morning, uh, which has taken up quite a bit of my time today. So yeah, time to crack on and get the refinement stage done. It, I stayed on last night, it's all fully cut. Um, it's now gonna be refined with Gion Primer. Uh, if you follow my social, you would have seen I did a 50-50 on the rear door to the driver's door. So I refined it just so I kind of knew where we were and what kind of level we were gonna get to. I was more than happy. So yeah, cutting took a bit longer than I wanted, but it had to be done. So that's all now fully cut. So let's get on with the refinement process. to refine and then we can get on with some coatings. It's about quarter to six, or well, half past five, quarter to six on Tuesday. So how cool Woo. is that starting to look? <laughs> but I'm having a five minute break. I've got a delivery. I've got a few boxes. Let's have a look. Try not to cut myself. Dion Infinite Type 2 Top Coat. Infinite Base Type 1. Infinite Top Coat Type 2. Infinite Base Type 2. I think the other one is actually a Base Type 2, not Type 1. Infinite Base Type 1. Infinite Base Type 1. Lots of coatings. Do not wash mirror hangers. Uh, I'll leave that one in there for a minute. Quite a few. Of those. So that is the, what one is this one? So that's, that's the soft white. Gonna be for coating removal. Oh, so that's that box. So this one, oh God. 
This one should be the bald one. thing is full. So that is that one. And then we got another one here. Well, that's spring loaded. Do not let that go near a car. Mm. Ooh, jeez. Well, okay, I need to look at how that goes. Right, so basically that is, oh my god. Keep that down for a minute, I'm gonna do some damage. set up I'll come back in a minute banner set up yes let's get back to polishing this one has to be coated tonight so headphones on let's get the rest of this finished Almost there for the coating. I've just got to go around, make sure all my panel gaps are clear from polish residue. Uh, then we'll do a spice hecker wipe down. Uh, then a geom prep wipe down. Then we can go onto the coating. So yeah, get all my panel gaps clear and get on with the coating. Half past eight on Tuesday evening. It's gonna be a late one tonight. Spice hecker wipe down completed. Geon prep wipe down completed. We are now ready to apply the coating. And this is having Geon Infinite Base Type 2. A bit of a longer work time, uh, especially on these larger panels. So uh, we'll get this on and we shall catch back in a bit.
get in there. I don't even know what the time is now. What are we? 10 o'clock on, I don't even know what day it is. Tuesday, it's Tuesday, 10 o'clock, 10 p.m. on Tuesday. Uh, as you would have just seen, Dion Infinite Base Type 2, you can do multiple panels because it has quite a long work time. Um, oh, sorry, I'm knackered. Roof is done, bonnet is done, driver's side is done, back end is done. So I've got this side to do, the front bumper, the gloss black trim and the mirror, then I can go home. So, but, bald wipe, so we're gonna use another clean one of these. This one is now fully saturated. So, that's got to go in the bin. And yeah. Nice new one. So that one's still good. Let's get it off. Come on. That's me done for tonight. What are we? Half past 10. Or as good as half past 10. Yeah, I'm done for today. I'm about four and a half hours behind where I should be. I had a valet out the front to do this morning. So uh, yeah, I had to get that done first and then this had to be done this afternoon. Sorry if I don't sound very enthusiastic. I'm absolutely knackered. My arms are dead, but the coating is on, which is the main thing for today is to get the coating on, get the polishing finished and the coating on. So I've achieved that. So I am going home. Yeah, pack everything up, lock everything up, go home, see you in the morning. That's another thing ticked off the list. The wheels are now complete. I've just got to dress the tires. Uh, first, I just want to do Gion quick view. Uh, so first of all, go around with Gion prep, wipe all the glass down, put quick view on, dress the tires, move it back so I can get to the bottom part, remove Gion quick view. Then what are we on to after that? Get the number plates back on. Quick interior, make sure the engine bay is finished. And yeah, we're not far off completion on this one. I still cannot get over how good this looks. This camera angle without the big lights on is not showing up too well. I don't want to reveal it just yet. I want to wait for the after photos. So uh, yeah, we'll get on with this. Get quick view on, and we'll catch back in a bit. are ready so I'm gonna leave this this is just auto finesse triple so that will wipe off even in half an hour probably an hour as well um, I'm gonna go and get my hoodies we'll come back to this in a minute yes <laughs> right let's go and get them
hoodies, obviously not this one. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna have a look at them in a bit, but I need to get this grill finished. So I've done half, that half is not done. That bit would have been on time-lapse, and I'm probably gonna speed that up on the time-lapse as well. Right, let's have a look. So obviously here you can see all the dirt that's in these. How much better is that? Look at the colour difference between that and that. Wow. Such a small thing, but has a big impact. There we go. But yeah, all this dirt and all of these, all nice and clean. Just got the other half to do now. Come on. This final wipe down finished. Come on, come on, come on. Get this done. So here we are again at the end of another detail. This has been really enjoyable to do this one. Even though it's been late nights and everything else, that's part of it, that is all part of the service. But just thoroughly enjoyed it. The paint responded really, really well. Just an absolute joy to work on. Even though it is an absolute beast. I know they do a long wheelbase in this as well, which I've quoted somebody for in a nice burgundy color. So we might be seeing that one later in the year. But yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this one. So this one's been geonized. So two stage paint correction, Geon Infinite Base Type 2 for the protection, uh, Geon Rim for the wheels, Geon Tire for the tire, uh, Geon Quick View for the glass, uh, and Geon Trim for the trim work, which there was very little of. But yeah, what an absolute awesome turnaround. I couldn't be more happy with that. Obviously there was a few little deep ones left in there. But from what this was, even all of this gloss black, although it takes quite a bit of time to get it right, it just absolutely finishes the car off completely. Oh. <laughs> Wait to see the walk round. <whistles> look at it. There is nothing better than a black car looking like this. It's right, oh. You're not gonna get much better than that from a two-stage machine polish anyway. So he's gonna be here tonight at about half past five to come and collect this one. He's gonna be happy. Right. I can't stop looking at it in the camera, that looks. 2017 Jaguar XJ that has been geonized. Let's roll some afters.